trying to get my Cal Poly classes into pass, but I can't figure out how. Hello. Are you a Cal Poly student who is unsure of how to register for classes? Today we will be showing you how to get the classes you need. We will be walking you through how to use pass in order to register for classes for next quarter. You will learn how to find when your registration date is, as well as how to use PASS to plan and register for your classes. This tutorial assumes that you have already planned your classes for the next quarter. If you need help planning your classes, you can refer to your curriculum sheet and degree flow chart. There are also counselors available to assist you. As the date for registration gets closer, you will need to find out your time window for registering for classes. Log into your portal and click on Student Center under the single click links. On the right side of your Student Center, look for the Enrollment slash Registration window. It will tell you at what date and time you can enroll for classes. Once you know when your enrollment date is, you can begin selecting your classes in pass. Make sure you do this at least a few days before your registration date to be able to register as soon as possible. Now you will need to open up PASS, or plan a student schedule. First you will need to go back to your My Cal Poly portal. There you will find PASS under the single click links on the left side of your My Cal Poly portal. Once you click on PASS, a new web page for PASS will open automatically. In the center of the screen, you will see the classes you previously entered into Polyplanner for the next quarter. Please note, after entering classes into Polyplanner, it may take up to a day for PASS to update. On the left side of the screen, there are two tabs. Select Course List allows you to select each course individually, either by department and then catalog number, or by GE area and then catalog number. The Set Your Availability tab brings up a weekly calendar view where you can choose what times you are not able to attend classes. You can check off individual hours of specific days, you can check off an entire day of the week, and you can check off a certain block of hours for every day of the week. PASS will not suggest classes that meet during the times with checked boxes. PASS also has preset blocks of time you can choose to check off. You will find these on the left side of the Set Your Availability tab. Once you have your availability set, go back to the Select Course List tab and click Select Course for each class from Polyplanner, or select classes individually on the left side as previously shown. As you select your courses, they will appear on the upper left-hand side of the screen in the Selected Courses section. If you accidentally choose the wrong course, you can remove it by clicking Remove under Selected Courses. Once you have the courses you plan to take in the Selected Courses section, you are ready to move on. Do this by clicking the Next button in the top right corner. You will be brought to the Select Section portion of Pass. Here you can see all of the available sections of the classes you selected along with information such as professor, meeting time, location, textbooks, and available spots in the section. On the left side, you will see a checkbox that indicates whether you want PASS to include the section in your schedule. This box is automatically checked for each section unless it meets during a time that you previously blocked off. In that case, the include box will be unchecked and there will be a line through the section information. You can also uncheck any sections that you don't want to include. Once you have chosen the sections you want to be included, you can press the next button in the top right. Note, if there is a message at the top of the page telling you to fix any errors, you will not be able to continue unless you fix them. How to fix the error will be explained inside the message. Pass will take a few seconds to load all of the possible schedules based on the sections you included. Next, it will display all of the possible schedules using the class sections you selected. Take some time to browse through the different schedules and find one that you like the most. Click the bubble that says select this schedule, then press next in the top right. If you are not ready to enroll but would like to view this schedule later, you can save the schedule on the left by giving it a name and pressing submit. Save schedules can be accessed by clicking View Save Schedules on the top right of your pass. If you are ready to enroll, navigate to the schedule you want to use and click Push to Student Center.
select this schedule. Then go back to your Cal Poly portal and select Student Center under the single click links. If you click Enroll, select the upcoming quarter and press Continue. You should see the classes you pushed to Student Center in your shopping cart. On the day of your registration, you will want to set aside about 10 minutes before your window opens up to prepare to submit your registration request. Spots are limited and technical difficulties can come up, so planning to submit at the very beginning of your registration window is always a good idea. You should see the classes you push to Student Center in your shopping cart. Check to make sure they are the classes you want, then press Proceed to Step 2 of 3. Finally, you will be taken to a screen that shows whether you have successfully registered. The system here is showing errors because it is not yet time to register, but if you did everything correctly, you should see green check marks for each class. We hope this has been a helpful experience for you. You should now have the required knowledge to successfully register for your next quarter of classes.